So, Flatnose, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazelk Chucky. And my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name, Scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Curious.
twilight is darker than expected. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. The world swims as you close, then reopen your eyes. How long have you been standing here? A moment? A night? A ten day? Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. feels as if a snake is slithering through every limb. My throat burns like flames erupted within. This is not exhaustion. This is theramorphosis. Close your eyes. Submit. mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Lazel's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazel, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon, forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Feels like we packed three days into one today. I'm exhausted. Could be the tadpoles doing, or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's just get some rest.
chosen. Let me come to you. I can help you. You frown in your sleep. There must be so much on your mind. Her fingers are warm against your cheek, softer than expected. You think that you're sick, that you're dying. Are you afraid? You know. I think in your heart, you know. We wouldn't be here like this if it weren't destiny. Come now. I'll make you feel better. Let yourself go. Lean back. Something in your blood stirs and twists, recoiling like a wounded beast. It wants her gone. You're not ready. I will return when you are. But I do have a parting gift. is cleansed, my muscles still. I have been shown new might to tug foe and fiend into reach. Damn it all! Your gazes meet, and memories of last night's dream course through you. No. The dream. You neither succumbed nor resisted. Is this your way, then? To meet conflict with silence? You cannot escape the tadpole's grip forever. First, it sickens you. Next, it entices you with a cure. If you do not see the ruse, you are already lost. Yes, and I knew her for the poison she was. The Geich will lead you to fire and convince you it's honey. You will gorge yourself even as it burns. It will call to you again, and you will resist. I do not give advice. I give instructions. Having fun telling everyone about your naughty little dreams, are you? Our bodies aren't, but I woke up this morning with a curious new ability and no more pain. Whatever we saw during the night, it was no ordinary dream. I had the same one you described, by the way. Seductive and enticing. The blank look, the flat voice. He's holding something back. I dreamt of him, my old master. You know what separates us from animals? Choice. I choose to travel with you. A dog would do it on instinct. To fulfill a need. Disrespect me again! And I won't choose to kill you. I'll do it on instinct. 
to fulfill my need to hear you scream. Something tells me I know what you two were talking about. Both feeling better than you did last night, yes? Not even just that. I awoke with new... I don't know... powers. It was the same for you, wasn't it? The good health. The power. The dreams. I don't need to worm my way into your thoughts to know that. It's all over your face. So did I. I dreamt of someone I'm very attracted to. There was a promise of power. I had exactly the same dream when aboard the Mind Flayer ship. I rebuffed the advances, of course. If it happens again, try to resist. We can't take anything for granted, especially when it's to do with what's going on up here. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. The beast reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath is thick with blood. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. Bones snap as the hyena is hollowed from the inside out forming a vessel for something new. Oh, my God. 
her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. Ignis! Seen that before. I prefer not to see it again, that's for sure. This place reeks of blood. Before more join us.
take two. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. The beast reeks of brimstone. You hear what you what? Knolls. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the core. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps. 
then goes still. As the light fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn. This is overrun with gnolls. Vile beasts. Nothing good is born from a corpse. This place reeks of blood. Let's go. Before more join us. Uh, there better be a soft bedroll in my near future. Twilight is darker than expected. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched, no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest. Gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your I I will your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Your 
mind lurches, reeling suddenly. Lazelle's fear. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no. I will not let the Geich take me. I, I will wait. But know this I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Chosen, let me come to you. I can help you. I've been searching for you. You're always... But I'm already here. You frown in your sleep. There must be... Her fingers are warm against... You think that... Are you afraid? Is that so? Perhaps you prefer a different kind of touch. Come now. I'll make you feel better. Let yourself go. Lean back. Why are you fighting me? I'm here to help you. The urge for violence lingers. You could push her again. You could cause so much pain. Well, if you want to wait. But... Well, hello. Feeling better, are we? Uh, last night, the, the risk of transforming... You'll see in due time. It's nothing horrible. What we were talking about last night. How did you sleep? I don't feel like my head's about to split. But my dreams last night were... Just tickety-boo. Now, did you have any dreams? What did you see? Yes, clearly. But did you enjoy it? We had the same dream, then. The worm enticing. The blank look, the flat voice. Something tells me I know what you two were talking Not even... It was... I don't need to worm my way into your thoughts to know that. So did I. What were they like? Whoever came to you. Different from mine in some ways. I dreamt of someone I'm very... Don't you think that's suspicious? I rebuffed the advances, of course. What did, what you, did do? you do? I, I suppose I can't expect everyone to show the same discipline. But you... We can't take anything for granted. Especially when it's to do with what's going, going on, on here. here. My blood is cl I have been shown new mu- That's the symbol of the Absolute, marked in blood. Hear that? 
Someone's fighting the gnolls. We should help. Don't be a fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. <laughs> With a shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast! No. The voice has forbidden this meat. Knolls see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Deep in the chaos of her mind, something responds to your command. A tadpole. It is the source of the voice. She will obey it. She will obey you. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. She is still ravenous, her mind a hungry pit. The flesh of the survivors wasn't enough to satisfy her. She resists, her mind's teeth piercing your brain. Pain shoots through you. She severs the connection and prepares to attack.
Ugh. <sighs> 
take your Thank <laughs> you. 